So, now that you've been introduced to the Raspberry Pi 2, let's plug it in, boot it up and see what happens. It uses the same power adapter as the existing B+. Plug it in. As you can see, there are four Raspberry Pi icons at the top, as opposed to the one that's normally there. This is to indicate the four cores of the new processor. Boot up time, wow, it's, al it's already finished. Much faster than the existing models. Just log in and start X. As you can see, it comes up with an error to start with, but I think that's more to do with the early operating system that I've got. Responsiveness on the GUI is incredible compared to the existing Pi. We'll just start up a web browser. This is the new Epiphany web browser. That's not bad compared to something like Chrome on my on my current laptop, which is a very fast laptop. Let's bring up a website. Rather obviously, we're going to bring up the Raspberry Pi Foundation website. That is not the Raspberry Pi website. And there we go, it's, it's up now. It comes up a little slow, but I think that's more to do with my network connection than the Pi itself. Scrolling, it's very responsive, and it's still loading. We'll just go to another page and possibly play a video. I'll admit I haven't got sound turned on at the moment. Here we go. Look at that animation. So smooth. But then I suppose it should be with the quad core processor. Much better. I can even scroll up and down and it recovers nicely. Much better browsing experience than the current Pi. Let's try something a bit more complicated. Let's try Google Mail. And to very carefully make sure that I don't show anybody my password. We'll just see what this this makes of it. It's trying to load. It comes up with an old version, which I assume is just because it's um, not as complicated a browser as, say, Chrome. But it does come up, and you can read your email on the Pi, which is something that was always very slow before. Let's sign out from that and close it down. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, the CPU was at 13% there. We'll just start up Sonic Pi and see how quickly that comes up. Much, much faster than the existing Pi's.
as you can see, the pie is, is not really even breathing hard. It's on for all one percent. Three percent. Let's try opening up a few copies of Sonic Pi, see how it copes. Of course you can't do that because Sonic Pi is already running. Let's try opening up Mathematica. Maybe not. <laughs> I've not tried any of this before, so this is all new to me. But everything's coming up much smoother. Let's try out Minecraft. Wow, that was quick. Start game, create new. Minecraft loading time is faster. I wouldn't say it's significantly faster, but it is faster. Certainly, certainly visually, it's behaving a lot smoother than Minecraft did on the old Pi. Plus, you've got Sonic Pi running in the background, and CPU usage is currently running about 5%. Let's come out of that, if I can remember how. And that's it for the demo, really. Um, I'm very impressed. It seems much faster than the current Pi, um, much more like a desktop machine rather than um, just a single board computer. And shutdown of that is much faster. And all off. And that is the Raspberry Pi 2 in action.